Hello everyone! Thank you so much for tuning in to our channel once again. So today's video request is how to create a calligraphy practice paper in Canva. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so depending on what dimensions you'd like your calligraphy paper to be, then we're going to go to create a design or we can click this custom size over here and input um, the, uh, our desired dimensions. But as for me, I'm going to click on this create a design button and I'm going to type in here A4 because that's the size that I'd like to be using today. So I'm going to click on that and it'll take us to the editing page. We're just going to wait for it to load up. And here it is. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, it would be your choice. You can choose to have designs for your background to make it look nice or fancy. As for me, I think I'd like to keep it white. Yeah, to save ink as well when printing. Or I could also just simply use a colored paper. And yeah, leave this design's background pages white. And yeah, for now, I am going to focus on the calligraphy and we're going to focus on the design later. And if in case you'd like to use a template, then you can find some templates on the side panel over here under the design category. And you can also uh, use keywords to search for whatever it is you're looking for. Let's try calligraphy today. And here we are. I think this paper seems helpful. So yeah, you, you're free to choose whatever you want to use over here. But as for me, I think I'd like to make one for myself. So I'm just going to delete these elements and I'm going to get started. So the uh, first thing that I'd like to do is to add a couple of lines. So we're going to do that. We're going to hit L on our keyboard to automatically add a line. We're going to position the line properly and adjust its length just like how we want it to be and we're gonna adjust its weight by clicking this button over here and maybe two or one would be enough I think one's okay and for the color black is all right but I think it would be nice to have Kind of like a brownish color to it. And now what we're going to do is to zoom in. We're going to zoom in. And we're going to duplicate this specific line. And duplicate it one more time. So that we get three lines over here. Okay, now it's time for us to add our text. So we're going to press T on our keyboard. And we're going to add like the letter A, capital letter A over here. And of course, we're going to choose a calligraphy style font. So let's go to this font selection bar over here. And we're going to type in calligraphy. And here are the different types of calligraphy fonts that we can choose from. Choose any that you'd like to use. Let's try this one. We're going to properly position it and make it just the right size. Okay, and now we're going to duplicate it. So we're going to click on it and click on this duplicate button and place the other one right here. Make sure it's properly aligned to the first one. And now we're going to adjust its transparency. So we're going to click on this button and adjust its transparency to about 70, perhaps. Let's try 60. I think that's okay. And let's duplicate it one more time. And as you may notice, once you duplicate it one more time, it'll also apply the same spacing over here. So I'm going to 
Once again, adjust its transparency, make it less visible than the second character. So maybe 25 would be okay. And they're going to get the gist. So they're going to continue writing the same character over here in the same style. Okay, now I'm going to select all three of these lines and I'm going to group them. And now I'm going to duplicate them and move them over here. Okay, we're going to copy this letter over here, put it here, and we're going to change it to a small letter A this time. Okay, and we're going to copy it, put it here, and we're going to adjust the transparency similar to this one. So that is 60. We're going to make this one into 60 as well. And this one is 25. We're going to turn this one to 25 as well. There. Okay. And basically, we're just going to keep on going. Let's do the same thing. Duplicate. And align it. Make sure that it's spacing over here is the same spacing over here. And it'll appear because you'll get those measurements over here and here, as you can see. 11.9. Same space. Okay, now we're going to copy this one again, or duplicate it. Put it here and align it. And then change this to B. Okay, we're going to copy the letter B. And then we're going to set this to, I forgot once again, that's 60. 60. And this is 25. Let's try another one. 11.9. Okay. Now we're going to do the small letter B. Oh, let me just rearrange this properly first. We're going to copy this small letter A, put it here, and replace it with B. And we're going to make sure that it's properly aligned or centered. We're going to duplicate it. Change it to 60. Duplicate it again. And this one should be... Was that 20? 25. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going and I'll get back to you and we're going to start designing the, um, the design elements for this specific design. You know what? I'm just going to copy four of these at least and duplicate them. Place them over here. Okay, and now we're going to replace these with other letters instead. I think it would be faster that way. I don't know why I didn't think of it. <laughs> okay, there. I think that's fine. Okay, now I'm going to start designing them. So I'm going to add design elements to it. So I'm going to go to the element section and I'm going to try to add your flower. And let's see what kind of decorations we can use. Perhaps black and white would be okay. So this one, I'd like to place it over here, but perhaps we can make it a bit smaller. 
but if we could find others then that would be useful too let's try this one instead i think i like this one better we're gonna rotate it like that okay and we're going to change its color i'm gonna duplicate it and put the other one right over here And perhaps we could flip it. Yep, just like that. That should be fine, I think. All right, and if you, ever you'd like to change the color of your elements or your fonts, you can also do that. Let's give this one a try. So we're going to change its color to something that we like. How about this one? We're going to copy style. Put it here, copy style, and copy the same style for all of these elements. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to change its color to the same color, and we're going to copy style. Okay, that should probably do it. Maybe we could change the color of this element too. And then we're gonna copy this style as well. And then we're gonna type in here, calligraphy. Let's press T. Zoom in a bit and put this over here. Calligraphy, we're gonna change its color but to something darker. And then we're going to press T again, and we're going to type in here in all capital letters, practice paper. And of course, we're going to change its fund. We're going to choose corporate this time. Yeah, and this should be okay. And we can also adjust its spacing. So we're going to click on this button. And if we select letter spacing and adjust it, the letters will be farther apart from each other. And then we could also add a page number somewhere over here. Perhaps we could move this over here. And then the other one over here. And then we're going to copy this one or duplicate it and bring that to the bottom number and this will be the space where they're going to put the number I think it could be a page number or the lesson number it's like a little thing just a little useful tool to track one's progress and i'm going to press l again move that line that we created over here align it to the rest of the lines of this design and i'm going to zoom in to make sure i correctly place it and then we're going to change its weight to one that should be okay and we're gonna zoom back out there. So that is our calligraphy practice paper created here in Canva. And that's all for today. We hope you found today's video of help somehow. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you in the next video.